everybody loves the bucket bag. You we had a bucket bag the last time we presented together and we were both ooing and aahing. I equally love this. It's a little smaller, lighter okay. weight. But this bucket bags are making a huge comeback. Huge. Everybody's talking about the bucket bags. So we've got it for you. Again, super soft, 238. It's on four interest free credit card payments. So this is the black. Again, we haven't seen this bag in a very long time. I love it and all free shipping and handling. So that's the black. Next to that is the pale blue. There are nine left in pale blue. It's so pretty. I'm glad you ladies are loving that pale blue. So that's the pale blue. Okay, in front of you is the caramel. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. Yummy caramel shade. And then I wanna point out, this is the desert right next Good, to it. Yes. So you can see the two colors right there. So that's the caramel. This is the desert. It's a little bit more of a softer shade. Then the bubble gum right here. Super fun. Is that fun? So again, that one has a little bit more, I would say, uh, pink undertones, a little more blue undertone to it than coral undertone. So it's on sale, to, or actually, it's on four interest free credit card payments day of $59.50, free shipping and handling. But again, bucket bags can hold a lot. Bucket bags are so functional. I love bucket bags. Um, I love that this is offering you that crossbody option as well as short shoulder. And I actually removed the strap so you can see the short shoulder option. This is done in head to toe pebble leather. Again, <laughs> pebble grain texture you can see and feel, light gold tone hardware, nice structure. It's, you know, soft and it gives obviously but it's not you know super puddly our bucket bags have this great tassel detail and the strap just glides on down and then you can see nice and wide in the interior of this bag so yeah this is that small to medium but when the mouth of this bag is open and it's standing up i can have my water bottle a smaller tablet for the kids my full-size water bottle an umbrella um, look how roomy it is and often i will carry it fully drawn open. I think it's cute. It kind of gives it a little bit of a mini tote kind of or a oh, shoulder yeah, yeah, bag yeah, and I can that. just reach in, grab what I need. But when we do close it, you're just gonna go ahead and pull it shut and it's cinching just the top. So nothing's falling out, it's secure. You're not sacrificing the space on the interior of the bag. I also wanna point out the fun grommet detail. So again, you're seeing, you know, some hardware throughout the bag, four feet on the bottom. Look Ooh, at the base. Cute. That gives you an idea of just how wide the base of the bag is. And I love just the styling versatility. Look how the dressy strap. that is, Isn't right? This darling? Look how darling this is. Or you can go hands-free and wear it crossbody. I'm gonna put this pale blue on because I love it. I'm telling you, this is a darling bag. I haven't had a bucket bag in years. Maybe you feel the same way, you oh. haven't had one. This is the new modern way to carry the bucket bag. Look at that, you know, and, and you can still be hands free. It's the right. perfect little size there. Is that not darling? I love that you can just kind of like that. fling it behind you or in front. And even if it's up, you know, your side, it's kind of, it's got that slouchiness almost as a hobo and it's soft and it just kind of, you know, nestles under your arm, but it's, Uber functional, again. So I mean, so easy to get in and out of a bucket bag, and yet like boho chic and stylish. It's not something, I'm stuck in mine, it's stuck on my microphone. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry, do you need some help? No, I'm, okay. I'm too busy I'm looking like, at the bag thinking, will this hold my gigantic wallet and cell phone absolutely. and then my son's cell phone? You know, everybody has their stuff that I've got to carry with us. Absolutely, it'll hold it all. Right. So if you want to pick it up, it's 238. It's free shipping and handling. We're going to head out to our phones, though. Roberta is giving us a call from Florida. Welcome to HSN. You're Hi, live Roberta. on there. It's Amy and Amanda. How Hi, are good you? Good afternoon. How are you? Good. We're doing good. Are you a Dooney and Burke girl? Oh, very much so. I'm going to put you on speed. Very much so. Good. Uh, what is it you love about Dooney and Burke bags? They last forever. They go with everything. They're just beautiful. I've been wearing Dooney and Burke for about 35 years. I'm wow. right there with you, Roberta. I remember my very first bag was a navy Me too, pebble. I have my very first bag. See? See, that's awesome. And we my hear very that first over. bag is the equestrian in black. In black very with nice. the tan trim, right? Right, exactly. I still have it. I wish they'd bring that back. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. That was a beautiful bag, Roberta. It still is a beautiful I, bag. <laughs> I bought that on a whim. I had never heard of Dooney. My daughter was doing a dance recital in Orlando. We went into a an outlet, and I like, oh my God! I walked out of there, and I was just mesmerized. Oh, and you've been a fan ever since, ever Roberta. Since? When I moved into this house, my husband counted how many plastic containers I have with my Dooney's, and we're like, oh. We have that many, huh? <laughs> well, you're a fine collector, Roberta. Yes. There's nothing wrong with collecting fine handbags. Mm -hmm. 
I just bought the Camden nylon in navy. You will love it. Super cute. That is a darling I'm, bag. It's it's about the same size as the equestrian, I think. Yep. Perfect. You're gonna be, I, I know the bag you're talking about. Yes, it's just about the same bag, same size. Maybe just a hair. I'd say maybe a hair smaller. Okay, that's perfect because it's vinyl, so I can wear it all summer. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, Roberta, we appreciate you shopping with Thank us. Thank you so much. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Susan, you take good care. I'm, you too. I met Susan once, and, and she's a phenomenal lady. Oh, she is. Thank you. Take good care, Roberta. Bye-bye. All right, so again, here, let me go through the colors that we've got for everybody. Uh, we only have about 15 more minutes remaining uh, in this show of Dooney and Burke, but Amanda's going to be back tomorrow night at 9 p.m. So here we have it for you in the bucket bag, and there's a great equestrian story behind the name bucket bag, and we'll explain how the horses used to be fed out of a bucket. Mm -hmm. That was done out of leather like this. So anyway, it's a great little story. 238, here it is for you in that black. Then we have it for you, and I'll pull these two, the caramel in the desert, so you can see this is the caramel, this yes. is the desert shade. And then right next to you, we've got it in the pale blue. Pale blue. And then the bubble gum. So those are the color options that we have for everybody. Super cute bag. And way back when, this is how they used to feed the horses. Yes, feed grain. bags, yep. And they were called feed bags. So they put the grain inside of this so the horses wouldn't eat it so fast if it was in a big bucket. So they had a smaller bucket, so it was a little bit harder for them to get their nose inside <laughs> for those horses that ate really fast like my horse did. So we used to do that all the time and mix, um, it was called mash. We would do okay. mash once a week too. Okay. I'm a wealth of useless information, what can I say? You Jeez, know, you know? It's funny, it's hard. <laughs>